68-66. UCLA comes from 15 down in the second half. That's two straight losses after the 4-0 start to Pac-12 play, and this one was absolutely brutal. Our Nick King has the reaction from a livid Bobby Hurley. Now, there aren't many college basketball coaches who breathe more fire than Bobby Hurley. Still, tonight, about as red hot as we've ever seen him at the podium. After a game where he actually didn't receive any technical fouls, but his players got teed up four times, all in the second half. I wish I could say how I really feel. Wish I could say how I could really feel right now, but I'm not going to do that. I am not going to say how I really feel. So I am just going to start out by saying when you look at the at the stat sheet, proud of my team's uh, shooting percentages uh, from three, from two, against a very good defensive team that's you know starting to find itself and uh, had six turnovers as opposed to, to their 11. And uh, that's all I'm going to say, really. I'm not going to say anything. I'm not going to talk about how I feel right now. So feel free to ask, ask me anything you want right now. You're pleased with the rebounding effort, especially with their assignment? I'm pleased with everything that happened on the basketball court besides the free throw line. Bob, what was explained to you by... No one wanted to explain anything to me. I had to ask to, be, to, to, to explain what happened. But I'm tired of the explanation, so I'm just not going to talk about it anymore. Some responsibility certainly lies with, with our uh, uh, need to in a heated game where I'm sure there's a lot of communication. And we're the bad guys. So say hello to the bad guys. You may never see a bad guy like us again. But that's who we were tonight. We were the bad guys. So I'm sure no one else said anything except us all night. It breaks all the statistical anomalies that there were that many technical fouls issued on my players tonight. You know, I, I felt like we were the better team. We, we, we played better. We played better basketball. We just, you know. Bottom line. Frankie Collins, ASU's fantastic point guard and leader, who was visibly frustrated with his teammate, Bryant Celebonge, after the last technical, saying, moving forward, we got to let our play do our talking, and that the fans were great. We let them down tonight. We gave away the game. At Desert Financial Arena, Nick King for Arizona's Family.